What is up, my beautiful poops? Welcome to Platform 32 and more Dragon Quest Builders 2. This stream series is taking way, way longer than I thought it would. Uh, I was done in 14 episodes in Dragon Quest Builders 1, and I'm not even halfway yet. So um, I'm definitely going to get crumbled and done. But um, I don't know if I'll stream the whole entirety of this game because we're getting close to the time when new big games are coming out. I kind of wanted to stream Gears of War um, and I just haven't been able to do that because because I'm lacking time and, and this and stuff. So I don't know. Uh, I'll see how I go, see how invested I am once we've completed uh, Crumbledon. But I may put it on hold get past the busy months of uh, September, October and November uh, and December and then uh, when it's a bit quieter in January, February, pick this up again and continue on because uh, yeah it's just it's bloody massive it's absolutely huge compared to the first game I'm so surprised I mean if you bought this game or you're thinking of buying this game you're, you're gonna get your value for money let let uh, let that be known. It is uh, it's big. I'm only playing it two hours at a time here and there, uh, but it's two hours per episode. It's like twenty eight hours so far, and then the two hours of this going to be thirty hours of gameplay, and, and maybe I'll have got halfway through anyway. So um, uh, before I kick things off, look at Malworth there. Looks like he's going in for a smooch. What a smoothie. Uh, hello to Offworld, Alexander Hansen, Kate Lily, Lindsay Langdon, Longhorn, Nightcap, Pervert, Silver, Reckless Rex, Stephen Rounce, Vandal, Victor and Victors, and XYX, Rithvithus, and uh, everyone else who's joined. Let's get in and uh, continue the game. So, last uh, episode on Monday... I just made the dancing plinth for um, uh, Babs to dance on, but she's still not. She still doesn't want to dance, and we got loads more bunny girls here who are enjoying this swimming pool. Um, yeah, we we've, we've got a little another little quest that I need to do before they'll do their uh, dancing show, and it's to do with going down into the mines to uh, find some stuff that's basically, I think it's the Dragon Quest Builders version of Neon. I can't remember what the actual name of it was, but let's walk to the old lift and then uh, go and find some Xenthium. That's it, some Xenthium. Let's do this. Oh, hi, my Hawkman. Hey, Smeezy. Oh, there's my burp. I literally have just eaten my dinner. My plate is still here on the side. Didn't even have time to clean it up. I've been um, I've been doing a big video about uh, Deadly Premonition 2 which is going to go live on Eurogamer on uh, Saturday. So if you're a fan of Deadly Premonition 1 or just interested in what the hell Deadly Premonition 1 is all about and uh, what we may be able to expect from Deadly Premonition 2. Then uh, do check that out on uh, on Monday... No, Saturday. I may have even dressed up in a suit to look like an FBI agent. Sexy Ian in a suit. Scrub up well, I tell you. They came to kick butts, chew gum, I'm all out of butts, says Kate Lily on leads. Looking very red today. I think I've put too much orange in my uh, top light. Never mind. Oh, it's these guys. All right. Oh, but I have added a dolly or dicks again. I don't know. You can't have minced it all the way down here. Just raising it all me. So what do you want? Zenitha, oh my, you suddenly got a bonnet up for your fortune. Trinkets, lucky for you, I got iron valuable too. Unfortunately, I got chopper, kai, and low for that stuff. But there's nisto to be found at Jack's. No, no, not all nearby. However, there's one little spa. I haven't got yet. What you bring here? The big old rock in a tape to town east of here. What do you troll over? Have a vada. But don't expect fine rhyme for your odds. If there are any at all, it'd be better on the town or rock. You'll have to get your famous dirty ticket hit. Apparently, it's an even Rex to the echo flute with his bluest nose, but that little instrument has been lost for years. Oh, hi -ho! Okay, so. I'm gonna go and find some Zenithium. Uh, and that is where? I didn't pay any attention. Uh, 
<clears throat> do I just have to blow a blue note? Blow a bluey. Blow a bluey. Here we go. We're blowing a bluey. It's pointing in this direction. Okay, well, that's... It's kind of like in a... Hey! Back off. It's kind of like in a diagonal, this direction. Protect me, Malroth. You're a shit bodyguard. We're doing, we're doing some... Crazy diagonaling here. Hopefully this will lead us closer to the Zenithium. So uh, much easier to dig in a diagonal if you go first person, that's for sure. It's a good rule for real life, too. Hey, <laughs> I forgot about this guy's his night cut. Uh, looks like... What's this? Reckless Rex's foot is still a little bit sore, but healing, allegedly. I'll blow your blue. Wait, wait what? Says Reckless Rex. Oh my god. It's not blue. I don't want to do Coupe de Gras. Okay, I've got, I've got on a diagonal quite a bit now. There's been no sign of shit. I'm doing things, I'm doing things, where's it going? Still going this direction, huh? An echo can be heard somewhere nearby. I think I'm about to break out into a path where I've already been. Or maybe I'm... Actually, I think I might be underneath a path. I think I've, I've done like a linking tunnel. I probably could have just walked to the other tunnel and... Would have been, been alright. Oh, we've broken out into something. Here we go, yeah. Okay, so this I could have just walked all the way around. Oh dear, never mind. Alright. Ian is cool. Ian is cool. So through this way now. Straight line through this way. <clears throat> Let's do this. Ian's queen, indeed. The flute song was stuck in my head all day long. Yesterday, along with the Eon Squeer, <laughs> says uh, Lindsay Langdon. Excellent. Well, uh, it was my pleasure. I, th I think something tells me I could have just walked around again. Should I just break through here and walk around? I think I'm going to walk through here and break. Break through here and walk around, I think. Or not. How the hell is that? There it is. Screw you. Ian Squeon. Ian Squeon. Can't play a thing while you're falling asleep. Oh, it's... Oh, it's, it's back in here. Is it back in... It's back in here and perhaps down? That could be heard very nearby. Okay. Is this therapy for Man of Medan sessions, says Lars Johansson? Maybe a little bit. I'm not... I, I didn't find Man of Medan that scary. The second uh, part, the second act was kind of scary, I guess. There were some scares in it. And then... Um, the first part I didn't find that scary at all, and then the third part was like over real quick. Where's it going? Kind of this way. That's not blue though, is it? That's kind of green. I'm looking for blue notes. So what is it? <clears throat> what on earth is this going to? Is this going to just go to some more gold or what? Or anything. Just something, please. Oh, you stand, 
Look how long his reach is. That was me, wasn't it? Where is it now? Where am I next? Oh, there was a blue note. Down. Yeah, down this way. Okay. Going for. Oh! There it is! Nice, got it. Come on, it attains a chunk. It's an Ethiop! Found it. Hey, Gavin! I thought it ended a bit abruptly, says Nightcat. Yeah, me too. Like, the the first half, the first act was like an hour and a half. The second act was like two hours. And the third act was like less than an hour almost. Babs' is billboard! <clears throat> You found some Zenithium. I can't begin to imagine how you got your lils on that. Oh, you seem interested in finding it. Oh, we are planning on using it for... I beg your pardon. What is up, Bob's people? Do we need that it's lucky? Whatever it is, it sounds absolutely fine. Don't mind if I come and have the bar. I don't worry. I won't show shit or anything. My name's George, by the way. Let's all troll out the back to the lady, shall we? we we'll see all your pretty juicy times. Okay, well... Let's get some more Zenithium first. I don't know how much Zenithium we need. I wonder if I can uh, mine it with a bomb. A big bada boom. No. We cannot. Seems pretty tough. But... Nice little chunk here. I'll just. I'll make sure I clear. Ooh, hello. Oh, fuck no. Not this again. Hey, an early Muppet. Better give me loads of gold. Give me loads of gold, you noobs. Do, 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 do. 84 chunks of silver, 88? Nuggets of gold. Nice. <clears throat> Five fares and lumps of gold. Hang about. Isn't that exactly how much gold he rocks needs? Oh shit, son. Wow. Okay, so. We can uh, go and turn Goldie Rocks into a, a golden golem now. Excellent. It's all happening at once now. Let's get this Zenithium first, though. Smash, smash, smash. Seems like, what have I got? 15 pieces so far. Seems like it's quite a big seam. Maybe I, maybe I don't need all of it. I don't want to. I don't want to run short of it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I guess I could just check my recipes. What would it be? Lighting. Yeah. Gold ingot, zil, silver ingot. Oh, I only need one Zenithium. Christ. Alright. Colin. Out. Yeah. Colin, have you heard the news? What the hell's going on here? Oh, I've just gone first person, haven't I? We've managed to get enough gold to turn Goldie Rocks back into a gold golem in a smashing. Let's go and hand it over to him. I'm sure he'll be chuffed to bits. Yes, let's do that. <clears throat> Fist him full of gold. Nice. Fist him full of lovely gold. There he is. Yeah, never thought I'd see the day. Who did it? You did it. You become gold golem again. Cool, blimey. It's all glittery. This is... <laughs> Beautiful! Golden Bats, everyone, thank you! Yeah, yeah, all that's left now is to take down the Medusa, uh, the one who took away all power. You know? Yes, Medusa stole strength. Medusa turned me to stone. Me go Golem again, but still need strength back. So, where is this Medusa thing hiding then? Now, the talk suggests you need to keep underground, very deep down, very shy, stays right away from the surface. Well, we'll just have to make her come up here and then smash her face in. 
Well, I don't know about you lot, but uh, uh, <clears throat> well, I seem to just right, uh, right. It doesn't seem just right to be at someone who's shy, even if she's a monster. We understand where you're coming from, Dougie, but much less a dangerous leader of monsters cause of earthquakes. She also turned Gory Rocks to Stormy Nimbal. She not to be taken lightly, very powerful monster, but a scary monster. No more rules don't apply, we have to defeat her. Uh, yeah, but first we need to figure out a way to lure her up to the surface. We need some kind of bait. Yeah, oh, you lot are always so serious. In case you forgot, we just turned Goldie Rocks into a gold golem. It's Tom Celebrate. We said we throw a massive party once everyone's done and dusted. Who's in? Ah, yeah, what the hell is... Oh, it's that... It's that sax thing. Can I join you? That's okay. So this way you leave. Colleen is tres fantabulous. Oh, look at this. Bonnet of Vada, you ache again, Goldilocks. Honestly, there's so much muscle on show around here. I don't know what to cut about herbs now that I find a few tally dishes at Jack's you understand? But before I get settled in, I need to ask you something. How do you find that Zenithum anyway? Eh, you, you got your fumbles on the echo flute. With the echo flute, I got chopped out all these delicious treasures in the world. Colleen, I might have to scratch your little letter and ask her to help me find a photo in a bit of treasure. Oh, but don't mind. But for time being, thanks for letting me move in. I sure be living in a bunny latte like these. Okay, by join Colin's team. There we go. Good job joining Colin's team. Colin's team. I feel like I'd be a little afraid of Gold in the Rocks if it wasn't for Ian's voice acting, says Lindsay Langdon. He's a gentle giant. All right. Suck it, fools. Babs, yeah. Nice. These things I can build. Suck it, noobs. I'm off to do some decorations. Okay, where does it... Oh. Can I put it anywhere? Uh, no. Get the uh. oh, it's why not? Where's it? Where's it want me to? What earth does it want me to place it then? Oh, does it want me to place it up here where the faces are? Bet it does. Yeah, it does. Oh, nuts. Oh, no. I've made a grave mistake. Sorry, faces. I'm going to have to whack you off again. There we go. Babs, look at that. Whoa, teleporting. I wonder if I can put one there. Nope. Well, no faces for this thing then. Right, well, look at this. What are you saying, son? Colin, Colin, Colin! The boogie boards are in place and Bebs' billboard is lighting up the town. Finally, at long last, Bebs is going to dance for us. Or Bebs, Bebs! What is it now, Digby? Gordon Bennett, this place looks absolutely wonderful. What's that sign? Oh, I love it. It's my fault. Yes, Dolly is metal in crumbled and zinnium. Isn't it just fantabulous? How you are, but I'll be there, right, Colleen? You did all this for me, Colin. I don't know how to thank you. You've made me an happy bunny. I'll dance an extra special version of the crumbled rumba just for you. <laughs> and they're getting a bit randy. Babs does now when to see. Cannot wait. Tee hee, not an hour, Goldie Rocks, but soon. Well, Jesus Christ. What else do we have to When, when everything's done, we'll throw a what a great shindig to celebrate. Then I'll kick the party off in style with my dancing skills. Can you wait for your extra special show just a smidgen longer, Colin? <laughs> extra special, huh? Mm -hmm. Colin, we get bad feeling, dangerous feeling. Ah, 
time to fight, is it? Oh, shidey. Time to fighty. Get those hearts up. Bad news, Colin. I've got a feeling the children of Hargon are preparing to launch a massive attack against us. They must be thinking of smashing up our silver bar, but there's no way I'm about to let them do that. The Medusa might come along for the ride this time. Remember, if we can defeat her, Goldilox will get all his powers back, so keep your eyes peeled. What do you say, Colin? Are you ready to teach those naughty children a lesson? Yeah, fuck it. Music to my ears. We'll smash those crazy cultists to smithereens. I'm not allowed to let I'm not about to let them ruin our hard work. Everyone fight together. Different monsters have big party. Watch Bab Dance. Come calling for Crumbledon. Time to have a fight. Charge! Fuck them up, kids! What the? Wail on them! I've got my new dragon sword and everything now. Just make short work of them. Oh, look at these big boys. So muscly. Ooh. Chop it. Uh, how's my health doing? Oh, hello. Who's that? What the? Oh, my controls are reversed. And... Shit, 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 shit. My controls got reversed somehow. Oh, uh, I'm gonna die. Eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it, Colin. Why can't I eat it? What? What do I normally press to eat things? Nope, not that one. Ah, shit. I seem to have forgotten how to eat. Take out. Use. Why isn't square working on a cactus cutlet? Do I have to cook it first or something? Uh, oh, he wants to do a, a coup de gras. Let's, uh, let's, let's do that on the next wave. Right. Coup de gras! Coup de gras. Oh, look. Stone douche. Oh wow! Absolutely own the stone douche. Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button and eating all my health. I just, uh, I think I just caned about seven healths when I didn't need to then, because I was button mashing. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, well. Just means I'm extra healthy for a second. I'm back here, Skellington. Okay, one more. Oh no. Some of our mates are uh, well and truly dead. Oh, Babs is dead! Who's this? Who's this fuck? Oh, God. Oh, run away. I don't think Golly Rocks is being much help, to be honest. Let's do it! Smack his head in! Boom! I should do as much damage as I was hoping. His one attack seems to be doing an angry stomp once every ten seconds. Not exactly the most ferocious of baddies. Oh, and a people's elbow. The spinning people's elbow. Ow. No, he dead. Two whoop. I've learnt his both of his two moves now. Stone me. The monsters are defeated, yay! Well where was Medusa? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we really showed them who's boss this time, eh, Colin? Still, Medusa wasn't with them. She's the one thing standing in the way of us in the next golden age. We have to get rid of her. Malwolf, I think you're forgetting something much more important than that. Babs is don't. So what about it, eh? What about our party? We just want a brutal battle against the mob of murderous monsters. Why aren't we celebrating? Uh... Now that monsters are taken care of, I think we deserve to let our head down a bit, Crumbledon style. It's party time, Colin. 
They're in a solemn sight who's not looking forward to it, but you're our guest of honour. We can't start without you. Ready to kick things off then? Yeah, let's do it. That's great news. Just remember this party is partly to say thanks for the part you played in rejuvenating Crumbledon. So make sure you enjoy yourself. Babs has changed her, changed her hair and got some new clobber especially for the occasion. I had never seen her so excited before. All right, and let's get this party started. Everyone wants to toast your success, Colin, and see Bab dance too, of course. Oh, she's got some sexy backing dancers as well. Hello, she has done her hair and changed her costume. Bibs, 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 bibs. Here we go. This is it. Wow, that is quite a barnet. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> God, it's fucking loving it. Look at that little pervy chump. <laughs> God, you're up, sir. Stand quite far away for some reason. She gone from a like a a, a raven head. Lady to a, a blonde. Whoop whoop whoop! They are having the best dance. Come on, where is it? Piss off, mate! T <laughs> joining in, ain't I? Yeah. Colin's a bit out of step. Poor lad. He's mainly he's mainly about building, not dancing. Way I forgot I even had that. Party's in full swing now, Colin. I tell you, this town's been in a doldrums for so long. I never thought I'd see the day. We've still got some work to do before the Golden Age returns, but I can finally see a chink of light at the end of the tunnel. The children of Argon had us all brainwashed for bleeding ages. After that, it was hard for me to cast off my doubts about you. You've taught me what building's all about, and I really appreciate it. Thanks, Colin. I owe you big time. But don't think for a second that just because I'm indebted to you, I'm going to let you run off into the sunset with my darling daughter. Oh, no. I don't know what I'd do without that girl when all this blows over. Promise me you won't whisk her away to that Isle of Awakening of yours. Can you promise that? Uh, I don't know. She does look damn fine in the... Uh, in the... whatever, the dancing cloak. Is it a dance? It's got, like, tails on. Yeah. Let's go speak to Goldie Rocks. The big golden perv. Look, Colin, look at Babs. She's a very good dancer. Very excited. Bricks coming loose. Oh my god. Babs no made of gold, but Babs shine on stage more shiny than me. Me decide, won't marry Babs, must marry Babs. I have new favour, Colin. When Medusa defeated, you build church for me and Babs and we marry. Um, No. Babs is an angel. She kept her promise of putting on an absolute blinder of a show. Right, Colin, it's time we kick this party up a notch like only a crumbled and minor knows how. The plan is to rush the stage and go absolutely bleeding bonkers. You coming? Fuck yeah. Let's bleed and do this. It's time to go nuts. This is going to be mental. Colin Malwoff, come with me. Don't be shy now. Where's Colin? Where are you, Colin? What's that noise? Oh, it's Colin. what's Colin doing down there? Well, Colin was going to rush the stage. Sound such sights. Uh oh. So beautiful, so seductive. She has stolen the hearts. She must be stopped. She must be stopped. Eh? What's with all that commotion? Kablowsies. Whoa. <gasps> Babs, what's the matter? No, Babs! She, she'll, you'll never shine again. 
Never sow the seeds of chaos again from this moment on. You are just another stone. What a prick. What a party pooping prick. Uh, oh, babes, babes, what's happened to you? Huh. It was her, wasn't it? The children of Hargon's um, infamous underseer, the Medusa. Oh, yeah, but why, why is she so in her face now? I thought she'd head away underground, too cowardly to ever come up to the surface. And... Oh, who cares why? It's what, it's what, what the matters. Just look what that Medusa's done. How could anyone stoop so low? No. Boo hoo! Oh, Babs, these are all my fault, Babs, Babs. All through the night, the residents of Crumbledon tried to break the stony curse placed upon Babs, but their efforts are all in vain. All the joy and energy that Babs' dancing and the town's revival gave to the miners is lost overnight. All oh, that worked for nothing. Gaudirux is overcome with sadness and anger, but in his eyes the fires of determination burn brightly. Then morning comes. Hope it cleaned it up afterwards. Golly, me feel bad. Been thinking, deep thinking, me want to help Babs, want to defeat Medusa. When Medusa gone, full strength return. If strength return, maybe we can lift curse, save Babs. We all want that Medusa dead as much as you do, but how are we supposed to fight her when she's holed up in her underground lair all the time? That's not our only problem. Look at the miners. The morale's at rock bottom. He said bottom. Of a uh, shiny light has disappeared and our daily diggings will surely follow suit. It's like we are right back to square one. Golly, new builder. Must build special thing. Bring Medusa to service. Hmm. Mm. Well, the Matosa hates anything that's dolly and juicy. Maybe a bright, beautiful building will draw her out from the depths. You want to be out of this meeting up here to try to turn it to stone? Oh. Huh? You want to build another bar, but this time out of gold? Another fucking bar, Jesus. These guys are alcoholics. A gold bar? That's a fantabulous idea. The Matosa will be up here to ogle it in a shot. Yeah, that sounds like an excellent plan. Where would we build it? This town's too tiny, no spaces for a big building. You can let us handle that. <laughs> Digby Duggy, get your lazy behinds over here. What do you want, Mel? Off? Can't, can't you see? We're angry right now. We're hurting. Right in the emotions. Oh, give over. We need to get you up there and clear those rocks out of the way. Colin needs space for a new building. You what? All the way up there? No, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> yeah, have you got a problem with that? No, no, it's just... Listen here, you two. St stop being so pathetic. You're supposed to be the life and soul of this town, but all I can see is a pair of snivelling settles. Sort yourselves out. You're right, Malroff. Imagine what Bebs would say if she saw us like this. Yeah, we need to kick up, we need to kick up the chuff. We need to focus on saving Babs instead of wallowing in self pity. That's the spirit. All right, come with me. Let's get cracking. Come with me. Just demolish the silver bar to build the gold one, says Nightcat. Do it. Let's do it. <sighs> Not bad, you two. You should give us plenty of space for a new building. Well, you're up, Colin. Show us what you've got in mind. Remember, it needs to be something special enough to sp inspire the miners and coax the Medusa around a hiding. Oh, luckily I've got a crap load of gold. Oh wait, where's my furnace gone? Stone babs are turned- whoa! Shit, son. Whoa. <laughs> Colin draws out a gold bar, level 1 blueprint. Oh, fuck. 365 gold bricks. Are you Kim kidding? Goodness gracious me, that's positively spiffing, Colleen. Yes, yeah, that thing's huge. You want to make it all out of gold? Amazing. 
Oh, they find time to lose the idea. Some things that shiny will drive them a dose of the machine. She'll draw up here to the flash once he's finished. Yeah, it's impressive, but are that bunch of muscle heads capable of appreciating such a classy pub? Cool, blimey. This place will be proper swanky when it's done. Who are these guys? These new? Because they haven't got names. Cool, you're really going to build enough pub and it's going to help Babs too. Oh, thanks, mate. Boy, I love it. I'm even going to help build it. You boys are in too, right? Oh, so I don't have to do it all by myself. That's good. We're through with the children of Argon. We're going to help out with the new pub and save our beloved Babs. Yeah. That is, some, that is a lot of air punching going on right now. <laughs> One track mines, the lot of you. Thank you, Colin. Maybe you guess already, but not new favour to ask. Going for gold part three. Build the gold bar. Fourth favour, build gold bar. Gold bar make everyone happy. Medusa not like gold. Medusa like happy. Not like happy. Medusa come here. Defeat Medusa. Save Babs. Need your help, Colin. Make gold bar. There's just one thing I don't quite get. We just finished turning raw gold rocks into solid gold. If this Medusa ain't shiny thing so much, why did she turn Babs to stone and not him? Isn't it obvious? It's because she's the Zosius most fortunate thing on this whole island. Godirax is upon an army, but Babs is the light of these miners' eyes. You know, when that monster turned their metal to stone all those years ago, it tore the hope right out of our hearts. We had nothing there else to go. That's when we turned to the children of Hargon, you see. Yeah, and now that beastly brute has done the same to Babs. Our hearts are filled with darkness once more. But that ain't gonna happen this time. If we all work together, we'll save Babs for sure. In Crumbledon's darkest days, our girl was a beacon of hope, and she still is, now more than ever. Please, Colin, Melroth, everyone, save me. Don't us save our Babs. We all save Babs together. Build gold bar together. Ah. Let the mission begin, suckers. What are you saying? Yeah, it's high time we got stuck into building your blueprint for the gold barn. Yeah, it's certainly a striking design, but I can't shake the feeling it doesn't look quite finished. Um, yeah, uh, back on Furrowfield, we built the deer tree in three stages. Maybe Colin's still figuring out what the final building will look like. Yeah, yeah, I suppose that makes sense. I trust you'll come up with the perfect way to finish off the gold bar in due time. For now, uh, let's get cracking with what we've got. Maybe we've all agreed to lend a hand with the construction. If, if we could all make a start, should give the others an idea of what's expected of them. And while you're doing that, me and the lads will go off and search for some of the materials we need. Me too, I can't, I can't just stand around sucking my thumb while everyone else is out working. Crippling claustrophobia or no, I'm coming with you, Dougie, for babes' sake. Right. Yeah, chances are they'll be gone for a while. You'll have to find your own materials for the moment, but if you're resourceful enough uh, to take care of that, uh, pay close attention to your blueprint when you're placing gold bricks. Once you've placed about 50 of them, it should give the others a, a rough idea of what to do. Mm, yeah. and then the fun will really begin. Get a building, Colin, and I'll, I'll let you know when the, the lads are ready to take over. Okay, do I have any gold blocks left? But I've got plenty of gold bars down here. Ah, my legs, I broke them. Uh, thank you. Build. Gold blocks. Cast 90. Let's craft. Comes in three stages, right? So if we craft 150 gold blocks, that hopefully will be enough. <clears throat> Thank you. Alright, how do we get up there? This way? This will do it. Okay. Okay, mail off. Uh, gold brick. Mainly at the back end on the floor. Is this the back end? Uh, 
it's hard to tell. That's kind of that. So it's a, a bit that pops up. So that's the front, I think. Yeah. Okay. So if I'm right, this should be right. Oh. Fifty of the we'll have fifty of these. Oh fuck no, we we'll have fifty of these placed in night on. Chunk, 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 chunk. Come the first fifty blocks on the blueprint and inspires the townsfolk. Yeah, how are you going on, Colin? Yeah. Oh, oh, it looks like I'm making decent progress. Uh, Dougie, Digby, and the others should be back with soon more materials. Then we'll be able to join in. Oh, no. Oi, Colin, look what we found! Huff Puff Pan, we brought back a bunch more materials for building the gold bar. I'll stick what we found in them chests. Mm. What chests? That's a rock. Ah, that's what he means. That's what he means. Uh, Brian back a bleeding boatload of gold. And me. And then I've gone and turned it into gold bricks for you to build with. I made so much bleeding carpet and so many curtains, my bleeding fingers are bleeding, and they don't get me started on the golden braziers. I was slaving over an hot, hot bonfire, making meat feasts and cocktails for Colin and all them beefy boys. Fancy grub for a fancy gaff, innit? Don't forget, Colin, we're all fighting for Bebs' affections here, and you're our number one rival. We ain't gonna let you do this alone and get all the glory. We'll give you all the way. You can help me place it as well if you want. No, not gonna help me place it. Cheers, Bricks. I don't have to make this shit, I guess. Doing, doing. Yeah. Fine. This is going to be such a shiny bar. is starving. Not now, Colin. You've got building to do. What the... Oh, shit. Where's my food gone? There it is. Take out. No. No. Okay. Uh -huh. Oops. Gold bar level one, twelve percent. Not there. Not there. Okay. Got some more here. Yeah. Oh. Cheeky. Uh, where the hell am I? Oh God, this is this is complex AF, yo. Uh, I'm missing one in that corner. Am I? Yeah. On this end? Yeah. <gasps> uh, yeah, I am. Oh, there they are. There they are. There, there. Ah. Wow. Well... That's some 
This is this is building. Woohoo! Now this is pod building. Ian, speak to Magrog again, says Victor Invictus. Oh, nice. Hopefully Victor Invictus has just saved me a lot of time. Yeah, now we've got everything we need to build the gold bar. We can follow your lead and set to work. Oh, thank fuck for that. You can leave the rest to us, Colin. We'll follow the blueprints of the block. Oh, jeez. Whew. Why did he run off down there instead of coming to talk to me, huh? Uh, Colin, you know what? You do know we're still rivals, yeah? It ain't exactly in our interest to have you acting all heroic all round, Bebs. But the thing is, without your help, we ain't got a chance of saving her. Please, Colin, you got to act all heroic for our sakes. Yeah, I'll act heroic. These guys are weird. They give you all the stick about wanting to steal Bebs, but then they're practically begging you for help. Not only that, they all say they're terrified of the dark and monsters and tunnels themselves, but they still throw themselves down there every day. I don't get it. What drives them to do all this stuff? Is something the matter, Ralph? Have you got a problem? Because if not, we need to pull our fingers out, get this gap finished, and save babes. Yeah, we're all builders here now, Colin, so you leave the gold bars construction to us. In fact, while we're working away here, there's something I want to ask you. I, I've spotted there's a few gaps in the blueprint right around the brassieres. Do you have a plan for what you want to put there? Mm. Light boxes, you say, but you need them to be red. Well, there's a little oasis nearby where you can find red dye. Maybe that's just the thing you're looking for. No. It's off to the southwest on the uh, other side of the bay. If you climb to the top of the watchtower, you could probably glide all the way there with, with your glider. Uh, yeah, once you've found this oasis, bring back ten pots of red dye. Hmm? But take care, there's a rather nasty slime who makes this oasis his home, and your eye doesn't, doesn't take too kindly to it from his mouth. Okay, ooh. Alright, you. Fuckers get building. Colin's off to do some gliding. I'm gliding around. Having fun doing a gliding. This way? This way. Oh, this is going to be... Okay, this is going to be to the big desert that I found the other uh, day, isn't it? There's a lot of there's a lot of rocks up here. Big old sandy bit there, look at this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so much um, cr crumbled in there. I'm just, I'm just not exploring. Look, there's a there's a puzzle over there. Malroth, no. So I'm using Magrog's voice. Do -do 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 -do. That looks like a big area. I wonder if that's where I have to fight Medusa. Ooh, I could use the teleporter. You're right, uh, Alexander Hansen, but I want to. I want to fly. I want to fly. I want to fly like a bird. Mono meow meow. What the? Hmm. Uh. Uh. Uh, 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 uh. Wrong. Ooh. La 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 la. Did it? Did it? Fight the slim. Fight the slim, says Lindsay Langdon. What's that? Is it one of these things? Uh, 
da 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 Here we go, yeah. There is some red stuff. Doobity, doobity, boo, boo. Nope. Red die! <clears throat> you need ten red dies, right? That's three. Turns out, swinging a hammer underwater is a bit slow. Who would have thought? Seven. Nearly got the ten we need. Red lights, huh? Yoink! Okay, ten out of ten. Now what? There it is. There's the slime. You ready, Mayor Off? Let's go mess it up. No other, uh, no other puzzles that I can see. Hadouken! Oh, hardly did anything. Ow! He pricks me with his helmet. Oh, oh, this slime's going down well easy. It's going down quicker than my dinner. going on over around here? Looks pretty empty apart from, apart from that. Meow, 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 meow. Yeah. Doesn't seem to be anything else of note. Very far remote corner. This is just a big nothing. A big bit of nothing. Alright, well, let's teleport back here to Crumbledon Town. <laughs> Lindsay Langdon says, Oh, yeah, it was slime. Oops, words are hard. <laughs> they sure are. I stumble over them all the time. Oh, the goodie bag people are the weirdest, creepiest things in this whole game, and that's saying something, says Reckless Rex. On loots. Have I missed any other loots messages? No, just that one. Okay, right. Who is it? It's you. It's Magrog. Oh, you found red dye. The, the red dye I told you about. Just so you know, there are a fair few shades of dye out there which you can use to change the colour of lots of different things. Well, as for your nice red light boxes, I'd hold off and place them until the blueprint's complete. Then you can apply the finishing touches. We we don't want to get in the way of our builder when he's hard at work now, do we? Now? Oh, right, oh, right. I've sh I haven't showed you how to use the dye yet. Well, suffice to say, you'll, you'll need a special workstation. I'm sure an expert builder uh, like you can work out the rest of it. Yeah. Oh, I've got to build a new workstation. Exciting. Colin's had an idea. What is it, Colleen? Yaha, yeah. yeah, a tinting ton. Cauldron containing colourful dyes. Ooh. There are eight colours to choose from. Nice. I don't know if there's enough room in there, so... I'll go in here and build it. No, tinting ton, what is this? Earth and oil. Nice. Easy. Thumbs up the stream, you 69 viewers, says Nightcat. Oh yeah, we need to get 69 thumbs up. We need to get nice. So we can go nice. 69. Nice. Okay, so I'm just going to wang that there. I'm going to die. Uh, okay. Let's build some light boxes. I don't remember how many light boxes I need. I can make 13, so let's make 13 of them. 
I'm back with my mac and cheese, living my best life, says Gavin. How's the dragon questing going on? Not much dragons. Not many dragons at the moment. More, um... To be honest, uh, it's more, uh, build, more building than dragoning at the moment. Twelve. Die. Die these light boxes red? Yes, please! Brrrring. Okay, we've got some red light boxes. Nice. Colin completes the gold bar level 1 blueprint. Wow. That is swanky, yo. <clears throat> okay, how do we how do we do this then, oh, darlings? What's next, Magrog? The old mucker. Uh, good news, Colin. The first stage of the gold bar is complete. There's just one job left to do. We just need to place some light boxes that you've coloured with red dye, and we'll be ready to move on to the next stage. First, put together a few regular light boxes. The blah, blah. I've done that. Blah. We'll need eight light boxes. I've done that already. Blah. Okay, good. Okay, we can do this. We can do this, my babies. There? Nice. There? Nice. Oh, nice. So nice. So pretty. Ah, oh, nuts. That could have gone better. Okay, uh, take out. What the? the hell can I place it there? Everyone else has placed it there. There we go. Uh, where else do we need it? Is that it? Is that then done? Oh, that's then done. Shark hearts for days, mate. Shark hearts for days. But yeah, those red lights are rather handsome indeed, Colin. The first stage of the gold bar is finally finished, man. It's shiny and sparkly, and this is only the start. When this pub's complete, I'm sh sure to get that Medusa out of her lair. And, and, and once we defeat her, the curse on Babs will be lifted. Oh, yes, there was something I wanted to say about that Tintin ton of yours. As, as long as we've got the dye, you can use it to change the colour of many different items, not just light boxes. It's the perfect pot for getting those creative juices flowing. You can't dye everything, mind you, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't experiment. Nice. Oh. Shiny. <laughs> Again, we've only gone and finished the first bleeding brew print. Not half bad, eh, Colin? <laughs> Complete. Yeah, if we keep this pace up, uh, we'll finish gold bar in no time, hopefully by the end of this episode. Uh, and the sooner we can defeat the Medusa, the better. Uh, we're going to do this. We're doing this to save Babs, remember? You, you know how much she means to us. Yes, must save Babs. No time to waste. Please, Colin, draw next blueprint. Only you can do. Alrighty. Let's draw this blueprint. Hiya! Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Colin draws out a gold bar level 2 blueprint. Oh, look at this. Look at walls and stuff. And stairs. It's going to be two levels. Nice. Okay, that's a lot of things we need. Well, stone me! Smash and work on the second stage of the blueprint, Colin. This place is really starting to come together. Hey, Cole Richardson. Hello, Sarah Graham. Sometimes it's just nice to put your feet up and watch a nice, chilled-out stream. No teenagers. Shouty teenagers, bangs and flashes, or complicated gameplay. Time to share a small glass of sherry with the cat. Ah, well, thanks for coming along and... Uh, Chilling out with us, Sarah Graham. Uh, I hope you and your cat enjoy the sherry. There might be... There's not normally shouty teenagers on here, but I do shouts occasionally. Uh, well, stone me. Smash and work on the second stage of the blueprint, Colin. This place is really starting to come together. Oh, I see you found a use for them windows I made. How lovely do they look? 
I suppose you'll be needing more gold brick blocks now. I, f I thought we made more than enough. Still, it's nice to see our hard work weren't wasted. Oh, by the way, Colin, are you at Grumbleton's famous tale or love and he sad story? Dark story, you scary. Well, there was one lady with a lot of long hair comes to silence. Straight away, I fell heads over heels in love with a dashing bachelor boy. But the man's a man I thought of many admirers, and the girl was consumed by jealousy, went crazy. Strangles man with nice, nice hair. She flew in mine and hid herself away. Most people think it's just a sea story, but we think there's a grand truth to it. Maybe two grains is we think. Maybe was a Medusa, and the man was Goldie Rocks. It's all true. Medusa fall in love with me, but she no kill me. She take my power and break my precious. Ah, oh, so that's what the other half of the fleet was doing in that underground temple. She must have held on to it, some sort of keepsake. Tee hee, we knew it. He was too story after all. Goldilocks, he was handsome, playboy all out long. So that's why she turns shiny stuff to stone. She, seems she, she let them feel things fester and they turn to hatred. It don't matter if you're human or monster. Love don't never change. Uh, yeah, all right. I reckon we've had enough talk of monsters' love lives for today. We've got a pub to build now. Now that the second stage of blueprints in place, we can start work on it straight away. It's a big job, but us crumbled dunnions aren't afraid of a little hard work. In fact, it's what we live for. Yeah. Uh, we're about to begin construction on the second part of the gold bar, Colin, but while, while we're handling that, how are you planning on keeping busy? We can't have you sitting around twiddling your thumbs. Maybe you could think of something else to add to the gold bar while we're busy building it. And anything spring to mind? You want to build some blue light boxes this time? Oh. Well, first red, then blue. Are you, are you going through all the colours of the rainbow? You builders are different breed for sure. No. You'll need something blue and dye for that. Problem is, I haven't a clue where to find any blue dye. Oh, maybe we can help, Zeus. We have an inkling where you might find some. It knows underground lake near there, very near. No tunnels like the backs of our hands. There's very hill slime that lives by the water. Love species splashing. Perhaps it might be able to tell you exactly where Blue Dye is hiding. Yeah, that sounds like a good lead as any. Uh, get down to that underground lake and see if you can find 15 pots of Blue Dye. 15 pots? Okay, 15 pots of Blue Dye. Near the underground lake. the closest one, isn't it? Walk to the iron dig site. Let's do this. Let's do this. Mm -hmm. uh, Sarah Grant says my cat is a mean drunk. Nice. Excellent. Just like Titch. Are we in water now? Feels a bit like maybe we are, I don't know. Listen, I just want to. anything that's not expensive. Here we go, look, we've got nine. Loads of clods down here. Piss off, mate. No, don't blow it. Don't blow your flute. Don't blow your flute. Your stupid flute. Okay, this way. Here we go. Look, blue lake. Oh. Lots of uh, lots of little snails. Let's keep going. There's a question mark over there. That must be the person we need to talk to. That was a strange turn of events, Lindsay Langdon. This game is full of them. Full of them, I tell thee. What do you want? Oh. This farmer. Hello, Goma. Now you enjoy life above the ground. If I had to choose a biggest hopper in your life every time, the water here is perfect moisturizer. or it keeps my skin all soft and slimy, not to mention blue. There must be something in it. Why don't you jump in and see what it could be? Go on, cook yourself in head first. Don't be scared. Spoosh. Okay, let's go find this blue dye. Quite the interesting little tunnel here. What have we got on the other side of it? Blue shit! 
Here it is. Yep. Got it. Blue die. Mm -hmm. yep. Two blue die. Mm -hmm. Let us go. I'll climb up here. Yep. Get all this stuff. And make it disappear. Yep. Into my pockets you go, little blue yep. things. Gonna give me loads of dynamite. Gonna put it right inside of my pockets. Gonna take it home and let it all dry. Gonna make some lights and I won't look shy. Cause there'll be blue little lights in the very bright. Only three more bits of blue I need to get. But all this hitting, it's making me sweat. What am I gonna do with all this lovely blue? Make some lights and they won't be shy. So I'm gonna walk back to you. Okay, surface. Yes. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's fly. Fly like a bird. Gonna call in a way. Build. More lights. What do I need? Glass ink. Oh. Oh. No. No. Take out. All of them. All of them. Uh, build. All the gold. All the shiny gold. Make it now, you chuff. Right, what you say, Magrog? Magrog, come back here. I hate you. Where are you going, you prick? Mate, I'm down here. Oh, you absolute. Oh, that's pretty. Uh, yeah, you managed to find a blue die, so uh, all dealings right. That means you can make some light boxes uh, and put the finishing touches to the pub. Mm. As soon as we finish work on a blueprint, uh, we can figure out the best place to uh, put those things on. Nice. Alright, well, now we just got to... Unless... Unless... This chest up here has some gold nuggets in it. It most certainly does not. One. God dang it. Hold on a minute. Die. Blue. Oh, I can only do one. So I can't re die the ones I've already died uh, red. That's a shame. Colin completes Gold Ball Level 2 Blueprint. Oh my god, that is... Oh, look at all those connecting windows. That's pretty special. It's pretty special. I see a schnaffle song compilation in the future, says Alexander Hansen. Dirt Night Katsis, thanks for signing me out, you twat. Yeah, it does that to me occasionally as well. It's well annoying. Really? That long for... Two nugs. Two lovely nugs. Uh, uh. Dang it. It's going to take bloody ages. Yes, die them blue. Yes, die them blue. I say, Magrog. Yeah, the second stage of gold bar is pretty much complete, Colin. Sorry, sorry to keep you waiting, man. Once you place the light boxes in blue, we'll be ready to move on to stage three. First, you'll need some light boxes. We should be able to have a hand to make them by now. And blah, 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 blah. Right, well, we can, we've got three out of the eight or something. Fifty, was it fifteen we needed or eight? I don't know. Oh, well, yeah, we need quite a few, but... Yeah, okay, that's, yeah, we need a, we need a lot. One, two, three. Oh, they look pretty though. There's going to be a big blue backdrop there. Oh, this is this is bloody fancy. This, jeez. Kind of needs to come and design me my dream home. Uh, let's 
collect some shark hearts. I don't even need the shark hearts now. Three. Die. What? Oh, yeah. Durr. Ian needs to make them first. Boop, boop. Yes, please. Die than blue. Yes, please. Oh. I'm getting her, slowly but surely. This is not the speediest way to be doing things, that's for sure. At least I've got the uh, the entrance done with these three now. Okay, pretty. This one have a nightclub. Okay, well... Oh, man. Poor old Babs. Oh, well, that is building. Let's go do a dance. Or not. There we go. Dinner dance! <laughs> You can only die once, says uh, Alexander Hansen. What is your dying wish? Very nice, says Dragon Brother. Tee -hee. Uh You can sleep to fast forward time. Ooh, well, I guess maybe. Let's find out. Let's find out. If we can do that. Uh, having a sleep. Don't know if this is fast forwarding time or not. Let's find out, I guess. What a lovely kip. No. I think it does at night time, but whether or not that actually affects the stuff that's being made. I don't know. Don't, I don't rightly know. Five. Yes, five. La da 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 da. Dying some more of this. To blue this time. All five. Ooh, I might watch some uh, Dark Crystal uh, tonight. No, you idiot. I didn't mean to press that. That music is kind of reminding me of the Dark Crystal, the, like, the epicness of it. Oh, I only need... Do I only need three more? Oh, that'd be wonderful. It looks like, yeah, it looks like I only need three more. Yes. Go check this out. Yes. Cook for me, you built and then I can just leave the other ones going. Build? Lighting? Nope. That one. Yes, please. Yes! Oh yes, I'd like to die these light boxes. Oh yes. <clears throat> oh no. Knackered again. Such a greedy little shit. Uh, is there anything I can eat straight off that, maybe? Yeah. No? Jesus, I'm going to have to actually go and cook some stuff. 
Christ on a bike. Let's see what this makes. Oh, this is taking a long time. That's taking a long time. Oh, it's all taking a long time. What's in here? Nice. That'll do. Oh, fuck, I just... <laughs> just put it back in. Take out four. Go. Eat. 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 There we go. Well full now. Kind of... Kind of interested to see what the steak, the dragon steak, and uh, uh, mushroom thing is going to make. It is a uh, uh, what is it called? Ah, a tastier turf and trough. Okay. Listen, I've had about enough of you like, coming in here, trying to wreck my stuff. Better not, mate. Better not wreck my house. If not my crafting room, you wizardy douche. There we go, that's right. Beat the living straw out of him. Did I do the did I do the job? I did, yeah. Okay. Wee These guys having a lovely swim while I'm running around doing all the busy work. Nonsense. Slow nonsense. It's already in my inventory. My inventory. Come on, Colin. There we go. Showy shell girls just shot it out one heart. Okay, where are, where are you, Magrog? Come here. Yeah, those those blue light boxes look absolutely tremendous. With them in place, the second stage of the gold bar you know, it's complete now. I've got to say, we've done a top draw job building this place. Might as well be uh, as good as you, Colin. Marvelous. But, but every block we place takes a step closer to the final battle with the Medusa. Have you thought about how to fight her when uh, she finally shows her face? We all saw what she did to Babs. It's highly likely she'll try the same, same stony shenanigans on you, Mel. If only there was some way to block her glare, deflect it somehow, some special piece of equipment you could use. Oh, am I about to invent a mirror? No, oh, you're trying to invent something already. I don't know why I'm surprised. You're a builder. It's just what you do. Colin, there's something I want you to have. A little keepsake of mine. Maybe it'll help you figure something out. A chunk of mystery metal? Ooh. Yeah, I, I found it in the tunnels when I was a lad. It's tougher than any metal I've ever seen, but I, I, I still haven't worked out what it is or how to work it. I know it's a long shot, but I, I thought I might it might help you invent something we can use to take down the Medusa. Ooh, uh, That little magic sack. Then there in the background, looking happy with himself. Oh, we've done it, Colin. You did it well. We yeah, are very well done indeed. Second blueprint is complete. <laughs> complete. Oh, because that's me, it is a positively spellbinding. Uh, back when I was a devotee of the children of Argon, so your radiant beauty was the highest heresy. It is a truly thing I ever did for that. This world of the Tamatos had the one way for sure. We learn a lot and finish her off. Strange feeling inside, power returning. We want to fight Matusa, beat Matusa, lift course on Babs, save Babs. Please, Colin, must finish bar nearly complete. Schnickety schnick. 
Ding dong. Oh. <laughs> Colin draws out a gold bar, level three blueprint. Oh my life. What is that? Is that meant to be a Goldie Rocks at the back with a hand up in the air? I think it is. So there's like a balcony, VIP lounge, and then like a, a kind of like Goldie Rocks at the back. Interesting. Would you look at that? The last part of the blueprint's in place. Once we get this thing finished, the gold bar will be ready to party in. How did you ever come up with such a spiffing design, Colleen? I suppose you builders are just imbued with natural creativity. The Jordan of Argon always insisted that you are a sinful spawn of evil, but seeing this beautiful gold bar has convinced me there's not a speck of truth in that. There is one thing I don't get. If the children of Hargon wanted to close down the mine, why all this hate for builders? Why not spread stories about the miners instead? Oh, you didn't know? There wouldn't even be a mine if it wasn't for one of Colin's kind. You see, Goldilocks was made by a builder who visited Crumbledon many, many years ago. Really? Story true? We never knew. Have no memory. But Goldie Rocks is the reason the mines were filled with valuable metals in the first place. Surely that makes the Builder one of the good guys. At first, perhaps, but over the time, the Islanders began squabbling over every speck of silver and every grain of gold. That's when the children of Argon came. See, they told us the Builder was a root of all our wills. It was all a lie, of course, just a scapegoat to trick us into accepting their wicked teachings. Pardon? If I knew they were lying, why did I believe them? Well, I suppose it was a case of when in Ripplepot, do as the Ripplepotians do. Or perhaps, if you can't beat them, join them. I'm not one to pick up a fuss. Huh, they pulled the same trick in Furfield. Seems like they'll do anything to get their way. Uh, but then those, those loonies ain't tricking us no longer from here on out uh, with the children of Colin. Devout believers in the, in the power of building. Oh, I forgot my Colin, good bar nearly ready. One last effort. Hooray! Ha ha! Sometimes I forget the voices. It's Dan. Oh, blimey. Well, Colin, the gold bar's moving ever closer to completion. We'll take care of the heavy lifting, same as before. If there's anything you want to do in the meantime, finding you might need and, and, and finding what? I fucking don't know what I read there. You what? Diamonds? The most sought after of all gemstones. All I know is they're as rare as hen's teeth and a million times more valuable. If I had the first clue where to find them, I wouldn't be standing around here, I can tell you that. Did somebody say diamonds? What is he doing sucking off uh, Goldie Rocks over there? Oh no. Gonna have to let him finish giving Goldie Rocks uh, C and two. Oh Jesus. Oh, here he comes. Done. The Zeus is on treasure of the moon. I've been trying to lie in my opens on them for years. I'm sure the echo flat will lead the right auto as is what you need. Those stones are hiding. If you manage to plant some diamonds, bring back ten, would you? I'm desperate to water them with my own orbs. Means you're said than done. Where are we supposed to blow the flute? We we'll need to be near the diamonds for it to work. It's funny you should screech that. I've been getting a funny feeling ever since I missed up here. If you ask me, the spot you're looking for is directly Ajax. Very close by. Go and give that flute a toot. See what happens. Give the flute a toot. I'm tooting that flute. Beep boop a doo. Where's the diamonds? I didn't see anything. That was literally nothing. Huh? I think I just heard an echo. Oh. What's happening? Oh. Oh shit. Oh, what? Oh. oh. There are brothers rocks. Can you see? Come on, Colin. Oh, yes, I can see the echo. Yes, you're right, Maloth. Come on, Colin. Let's go take a closer look. Okay. Let's go look at that echo. I definitely heard the flute's echo coming from somewhere near here, Colin. 
Sound a lot weaker than normal, though. Whatever's buried here, it must be as deep as ours is. You want us to dig through that rock? Sorry, mate, but it ain't gonna happen. We might be the world's best miners, but this job's too much, even for us. Ahem. Leave to me. Smash any rock. Smash as deep as deep can be. Kick its head in. Goldie rocks. What is going on? Go on, Goldie rocks. Get ready! Oh, wow. Oh my god. Wow, that's one hell of a punch. Sweet punch, Goldie Rocks. That's one deep hole. Can't wait to see what's down there. We just want to help. If diamonds help to save Bob's Colin must find diamonds. Wait, wait, you ain't actually thinking of jumping down there, are you? It's boiling up. Not to mention deep hairs. You'll get flat like a pancake that burnt to a crisp. There'll be no crispy pancakes today. Not if we use our windbreaker. <laughs> All we have to do... Oh, fuck, I forgot Malroth's voice now. All we have to do is throw ourselves into the bottomless lava pit and float all the way down to the bottom. What could possibly go wrong? That makes sense to me. Whee. Down we go. Bloody hell, that's slow. Down we go. Anywhere you want to go any faster. Do you want to go? Oh my god, my thing's burning up. Oh, if that was a big fall, are you okay, Colin? More importantly, who left the heater on down here? It's absolutely roasting. That must buy, be why we fell. The windbreaker can't handle the heat. I guess that thing is pretty useless down here. Well, we'll have to find those diamonds without it. Come on, let's see if we can sniff them out. What the? There's fighting music now. Oh, yep. Yeah. Things that... Oh. Oh, God. So we've got lava beasts. What are these things? Oh, they're like little mini medusas. This is the right... Wow! Wait. Got my little toesies. Ah. An angry fart. Screw you, angry fart. Ow! The angry fart, it screwed me. Following these torches, I, I'm presuming this is what I'm supposed to be doing. There's a cave there. This magma looks pretty dangerous, wouldn't you say? I wouldn't fancy going skinny dipping in there, that's for sure. Building a bridge across would take forever. Maybe if there is a way to cool it down. There's a message written on the scorch sign. Liquid lava underfoot. Step awry and turn to soot. Cool water, walk on heat. Pray feet be fleet, or be cooked meat. Okay, well. Uh... Ah. Of course. Wait, where's my... There it is. Oh wait, one scoop. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Minducers indeed, Nightcat. Minducers indeed. Does that work? Did that work? That worked. Sort of. Wait. No, this is a bot. This is a bottomless pot. Wait. What the? Oh my God. It's still spreading. Keep turning that lava into lovely, lovely, walkable stone. Please don't believe the physics in this game, kids. I suspect the water on lava idea is a tad flawed. What? Surely not.
guy through. Just have to make another one here, I guess I do. Do. Jump in, jump in. Oh, ow, oh, ow. Ooh, hurt my bop up. Jump. Chuck a bit of water down here. People are discussing in the comments uh, about <laughs> what would happen if you poured water on lava. Nightcat thinks it's only mildly explosive. Reckless Rex says the resulting cloud of steam would probably cook you. Which sounds, basically sounds like a bad idea uh, of Collins. You can now walk to the lava lake. Hurrah. But where? This way? Jesus. This is a long bloody way to go. Sploosh, sploosh. Good job I've got an infinite supply of water, really, isn't it? Wouldn't fancy doing this trip a hundred thousand times. That's for cool blimey. Another, another little crystal clear lake here. I don't know why I bothered sucking that up, to be honest. I've got a full bucket. Oh, i got a full bucket already. What a jump. What a jump. Oh, there's something up there. Something talkative up there. Damn, son, this is a long way. Get closer, though. Hey, don't you laser beam me, you massive prick. House. Absolute lasery. No. Ow. Oh, yeah. I'm going to kill your babies first, and then I'm coming for you, dickhead. Hey, where's Malroth? Malroth, he's just stood there. Hey, yeah, lazy boy. There we go. That's better. Come on, Malroth. Smack his face off. Yeah. Finally, said goodbye to the lava, but hello to this extremely muscly man. Oh, my word, sir. Just uh, killed him and stole his man meat. Come on. Diamonds? There's got to be some diamonds around here somewhere. What the hell? Ooh. Puzzles. Don't mind if I do. Jesus Christ. Oh? Uh -huh. oh. oh, 
I can't use my my butt glider. Oh, that's fine. I made it. Butt glider. Oh, nuts. Can I? Oh fuck! Oh no! Ow! Oh god! Ow! Oh my skin! I need that. Oh, I need my skin to keep my bones in. longer than the other and that one has a top on it. What if I can I take the top off that one? I don't like it. Where am I gonna get the other bits from? This puzzle needs you to repair the track and then use the cart to jump the gaps, says Sam McDonald. Oh. 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 I can't be asked. <laughs> I can't be bothered. I cannot be bothered. Sorry, puzzle! Screw you! Too hard. Too much work. I'm trying to hear. What is that? Oh, it's another one of them things. No! Oh! My skin! If I don't have it, how will people be able to see my hair? Whoa. Be up there. No shot hearts. I mean, oh, you cloud farts. Are oh, you evil farty bastards? How? Ah, I'm trapped. <laughs> You evil fatty bastards. Listen, dick. Break its face, Malroth. Jesus Christ, the worst bodyguard I've ever bloody seen. Oh, you. I'm gonna murder you.
No, you absolute tool. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Dragon Mail is really handy here. I didn't have it, so I got crisped a few times as Alexander Hansen. Kind of got that by accident. Ooh. Da, 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 da. Colin learns a new recipe. What have I got? 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 Iron armor? How would I want iron armor? I've got dragon armor. Now, Cloud Boy. Nice. Suck it up. Evaporate that, you bastard. Good word. Whose bloody idea was it to get diamonds? Oh yeah, it was Collins. Okay. I've uh, activated the teleportation ball. Whoa, what is this place? I remember someone back at base mentioning a forgotten shrine. Could this be it? something odd about this place. I was talking. Who's this? Feels strangely familiar. Kind of like I'm at home. Huh? And they're calling monsters. Let's go mess them up. Let's go mess them up, Malroth. Oh, what? Humans, you dare defile our unholy sanctum. Wait, I know you. You're the same sinful creatures who build on the surface. Wherefore do you still explore these caverns? I thought your hopes had been dashed when the great and glorious Underseer turned your shining star in stone. It seems we must take it upon ourselves to deliver these fools to the abyss of despair they so eagerly seek. It's pummeling time! Oh my god, there's a dragon! Defense decreases. What? Casting spells on me, you little prick. Oh, that's when I'm dead anyway. Set. Attack the butt! Attack the butt! He's dead. Attack the front. Attack the front. Okay, yeah, you take on the dragon now, Ralph. It's fine. Okay, oh, what the? Okay, everything's dead now except for this dragon, I think. Don't attack his face. It seems like a bad por portion of a dragon to attack the face. If I do it anyway. Yep, it does. It bites. Oh, I didn't even see that we had the coup, coup de gras. The monsters are defeated. Great, yeah. Wretched brat, how did you defeat us, Splinter Splutter? Perhaps he is not of this world after all, cough. Ha <laughs> thing of destiny is already decided, and a wonderful one it shall be. Give in to your fates, and your soul may yet be saved. Blah, 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 blah. Wow. Cheery lad, cheery lads. My lord and master, hear me. Can't skip this. Huh? Hear me, Maroth, O oh mighty master of destruction. That voice is the same one I heard on the island. Those monsters worshipped you, and yet you shot them no mercy.
How very fitting, but I expect no less from the Lord of Ruin. Give it a rest, will you? I'm not the Lord of anything. I don't know what you're talking about. Man, monster, or god, none can escape their fate. You're the master of destruction. Your destiny is set in stone. Oh, fucking hell. The world is hurtling headlong into oblivion, and the only one that can save it is you. Gotta be like this game. What the heck is going on? Huh? Oh. Sorry about that, Colin. The heat down here must be addling my brain. I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. <clears throat> Besides, we've got more important things to think about, like digging up some diamonds. Maybe if you play that flute around here, it might give us an idea of where to go next. Okay, then. <gasps> two, two, two. I've tooted my flute. I've tooted on my flute. Huh? Oops, wrong thing. Ah, shit, didn't need to do that. Yep. I toot my flute. I toot my flute. Okay, through here, behind this lava waterfall. Okay. Let's go. Hooray! Diamondes! That's right, my beautiful babies. We got some diamonds! Colin obtains a diamond. Victor and Victor says, not being able to skip the voices text screens were the most annoying part of this game. Oh, hell yeah, I feel you, Victor and Victor. I feel you. All we got to do now is find nine more of these little beauties and take them back. I think I can build a, an excellent diamond weapon. There's this rock that is there, on? Look, basalt. You're a basalt. Eight, nine, ten. Oh, you little shit. Colin has a new recipe. Golden gauntlets. A pair of gaudy gold gloves inlaid with glistening gems. I've made the infinity gauntlet. You look pretty pleased with yourself. So what fantastic thing may Jig have you invented this time? Pair of golden gauntlets for Goldie Rocks, eh? You'll be able to use them to reflect the Medusa's stony spell back on her. Yeah, well, if they work like you say, this battle's gonna be a breeze. Anyway, it looks like we've got more than enough diamonds for now. Let's head back up to base. This stupid heat is starting to do my head in. Yeah, let's teleport away. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
Do I need to talk to it's done? Cool blimey, Colin! To be honest to see me, all those actual real live diamonds you have got there. Oh, fantabulosa! Uh, I've jumped high and low for diamonds all these years. I never thought I'd water them with my own orbs. They're more fortunate than I could ever have imagined or built. Uh, tell me you'll make me a dolly pair of Aunt Nelly Flakes to pray my eek. The uh, Aunt Nelly Flakes will have to wait till later. Or whatever they are, cool blimey. Uh, we need these diamonds to put the finishing touches to the gold bar, right, Colin? You just hang on a little longer. We'll have the gaff built as best we can in no time. Then it'll be over to you. Let's go make these gauntlets. Let's go make these gauntlets. Correct. There's a lot of gold now. Build. Wait, maybe we'll be on here. Build. Defense 39. Defense 42. Yeah. Dragon armor's well better. Okay, that's not how you mount the gauntlets. Maybe it's on here? Gauntlets, here we go. Machinery. A pair of gory gauntlets. Just one, right? <clears throat> Wait, Goldie Rocks gets the fabulous gloves. Colin's an idiot, says the Dragon Botherer. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Okay, Goldie Rocks, you mad dong. I have one nice favour, Colin, please help. Wait, this is dickhead. No. I got, yeah, I get it. Do not... Have we got to wait for these... These pumped up chumps to... Make the bar, have I? They're going for it. Get yeah, now, look. Ooh. There he is, fisting the sky like only a giant golden golem could do. Gold's not the strongest of metals to build a structure out of, though, is it? I rule. Yeah. Alright, who are you talking to now? Who wants to chat? Why does no one want to... Who wants to chat to Iona? Iona! Someone here, I'm not stood on top of the quest... I'm stood on top of the quest exclamation mark. What am I missing? Someone built themselves into the bloody thing. Or what? Then? Then? Uh, what the hell? What the? F um, what are you doing up there, you f you nincompoop? Hell, Magrog. Some kind of clever prick or what? Absolute bastard. 
<laughs> this is what happens when you leave minions to build stuff. Oh, use the builder spell to summon him, Alexander Hansen said. Oh, of course. Durr. No, congratulations, uh, yeah, congratulations on all the coming. Gold bar's complete. Nothing made me have to put the finish to such a place. But before that, no. Melz tells me he dug up some diamonds and came up the idea of some golden gauntlets. It says we plan to give him gold rocks and turn them into some kind of super weapon. I can I barely believe my ears. You guys never cease to be amazed at me. Maybe we'll stand a fighting chance against the Medusa. It seems that mystery metal I chanced upon all those years ago is finally going to come in useful, but only if you stop chin wagging with me and go ahead and make those golden gauntlets. Give the Goldie Rocks as soon as you're done, then we'll be able to, set, to take f the fight to the Undersea. No, no, no. Fuck off, my Grok. Parachute in the end like Fortnite. What that Colin, Golden Gauntlets? Can you use to fight Medusa? Bring back hope. Bring back Babs, you give to me. Yes. Thank you, me ready, give me now. Oh, wow. Now can't block Medusa's stone spell. Can't fight Medusa. Nice. Well, let's fight that happen soon. Colin, you are very clever. Make good things. Long ago, islanders dreamed to get rich. Dig much metal, but humans get greedy. Become bad. But humans not bad from beginning. Only go bad because they lose dream. Humans need dream. Dream to make money. Dream to build future. Please, Colin, must defeat Medusa, must lift Stone Curse. Time to build future come soon. Yeah, wow, great stuff. But yeah, all right, now that Golden Rocks wields the Golden Gauntlets, we may be able to hold our own against the Medusa. No, if we manage to defeat her, Golden Rocks will regain his strength and bring the Golden Age back to Crumbledon. No, not only that, but the Underseer is one of the children of Hargon's top brass. Get rid of her and we might free the island from that cult's clutches. No, but something just doesn't seem right. Uh, we finished building the gold bar, but the Medusa's nowhere to be seen. Is, is there something missing, maybe? Uh, if anyone can figure out what that might be, it's you, Colin. Have you any bright ideas? Now's not the time to hold out on us. We have to put the final touches to the gold bar and save Babs. No. Golden Noggin. A remarkable replica of a golden... Golden Golem's Dazzling Dome. Uh, okay. What? Well, Colin, we followed your blueprint down to the last block. But it just don't feel finished to me. I can't quite put my finger on it. I can't help feeling there's something important missing. Better build like you come up with something perfect to finish off the pub. It's crowning glory, so to speak. A Golden Noggin? That's a smashing idea. Sounds like just what we need to take pride of places to simple other pub. So that's why you needed the diamonds. You had this planned out all along, didn't you? Well, it's high time you made this golden noggin. Just make a bit of gold and some diamonds together, right? Sounds like a doddle. Go on, my son. Get that bonce built and stick it up where everyone can see. Fine. Well, there it is. Build just one. Yes, please. All the herbs. Gonna probably need them. Okay. Why are we sticking this stupid head? No. No fighty. No fighty, only buildy. Diddle meow 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 Oh my god, that's massive. No, that's the wrong button you don't. Oh, you're not place it. Oh. No. There we go, finally. Wonderful. The 
gold bars has finally got space. Goldie rocks and free bars are well and truly back in business. Oh, I see what they did there now. <laughs> Where did he pull that from, Carl Richardson? That's a good question, mate. Good question. Look at that. Ooh, beautiful. Look at me. Loving it. Cool, blimey. Well done. Yeah, those diamonds are massive. Holy shit. Retire on them. Gold bar finished now, but why did it look like me? I believe I can answer this one. As the guardian of the mine, you're ever so important to this island. This is Colin's way of honoring your vital contribution. It's very nice out there, so shiny. Medusa won't be able to resist tiny guitar stones. The answer there will be up here soon, mark my words. Yeah, I meant she does. We have to strike hard and fast. We mustn't let her get the jump on us, man. But if we can't take her down, Goldie Rocks will get his powers back. But if we can take her down, Goldie Rocks will get his powers back and Babs will go back to normal again, right? Let's hope so. Colin, I've got a confession to make. I'm a coward with a belly as yellow as sand and I buried me head in when the monsters came calling. But I ain't gonna be a chicken no more. From now on, I'll be needing my own sword. I'm gonna fight to save my daughter, even if I die trying. He's right. We have to do this for Babs. We's not going to be scared of the monsters anymore. We might be the strongest soldier around, but we can still swing a sword in anger. You count me in too. My monster phobia might be off the bleeding charts, but I ain't gonna. But ain't enough to stop me battling to save my beloved Babs. Me too. I'll do anything to get Babs back, even if it means I'll croak it trying to save her. That's what true love's yeah. all about, ain't it? Oh, and don't forget about me. I shall be the delightful lady's knight in shiny armor. I shall save her from her stony state and win her adieu. Adieu. Hey, nice to see you lot of finally bucked up your ideas. Just remember who we're doing this for, and there's no way we'll lose. What? Hmm, since enemies approaching, get ready everyone. Oh, I better make him some swords. I guess this is gonna be the final battle of the island. Colin is absolutely starving. Get that down your face. Throw there we go. Build. Yeah, like ten iron broadswords. <clears throat> Why did you think the golem was named Goldie Rocks? I just thought because it was meant to be gold, and they thought, uh, Goldie Locks. Uh, okay. Where the hell did those swords go that I just made? There. No, don't equip. Right, no. Oh, hold on. Wait. Do you want a sword? No. You want a sword? No. Who does want swords? You do. Give to Serge. Give to Dan. Give to Beefy Bloke. Give to Digby. Give to Dougie. Anyone who's not cowering, basically. Give to Macho Chap. Give to Odelia. Give to Jack's Jock. Strapping specimen. Give to Burly Blighter. That looks like about it. And do you get one? No. Looks like another horde of monsters is closing in. I bet they've come to demolish our shiny new gold bar. And I've got an inkling that Medusa isn't far behind. We've really got her attention this time. She's fallen right into our trap. But before we deal with her, we have to send her minions packing first. That reminds me, Dan and some of them, yeah, I've done that. Yeah, I'm ready. Good to hear it. Let's you and me lead the charge. We fight too. Fight for Babs' sake, Babs. 
Getting effed up in the A, look at you. Fall, you fools. Fool, ha ha ha. Eat, shit, and die. I can't even see where I am, but. Battered. Oh, mate, look at this. It's the power of friendship right here. Destructible. Ow. So cool. Nice. Oh, I did. oh no. Should I get my sort my this out? Ow! Hell one. There we go. Coup de gras! Kablowy! Absolutely wrecked. This one has got full health. Looks like I'm the only one that can damage it too. Yeah. Yeah, seems to be seems to be falling pretty fast. There we go. More. Pile on. Absolutely batter them. No it didn't. Oh, is it? That's a dragon. Oh shit. I don't notice my health until I heard the ding thing. Okay, this dragon's nearly dead. I don't even need the coup de gras. Yeah, suck it, monsters. Victory. Ray, we defeated Undersea's underlings. We win. We haven't won yet. The big one's still to come. The final battle against the Medusa. But me slow. Timing no good. Got it much better. You climb on back again. Help block Medusa's stony glare. Tell me when to use golden gauntlets. Block spell. Beat Medusa. Me ready when Colin ready. Let me know. Climb on. We fight together. Hold your horses. We've got a little job to take care of. Oh, fuck. God oh, damn it. Ted took a bit of a bashing in that last battle. You just sit back and we'll handle the repairs for you. All right. Okay. The base is restored to its former glory. Okay. I want right. Shoulders comfortable, Colin. Now we're ready to fight Medusa. Together we can win. Together we can save Babs. Man, Roth lead us into battle. Tell Maroth we're ready, then we smash Medusa together. Uh huh, looking good, Goldie Rocks. That human you're wearing really suits you. Alright, Colin, we're about to face the final battle. The Medusa's on her way. I can feel it. Are you ready to take her down? Yes. I was ready 13 minutes ago. Babs is the one who rescued us when we fell in that pit, remember? Now she's the one who needs digging out of a hole, so it's only fair we return the favor. Funny, isn't it? When we first got here, everyone was so scared of the children of Hargon. But now Babs needs saving. They're all willing to lay down their lives to take down the boss. Just goes to show that they really care about that kid, I suppose. What was that feeling called again? I can't remember. Well, whatever. This is it, Colin. Time to put that Medusa in our place and stick it to the children of Hargon. The final battle, it's coming. From the sky. No, it's not. From the ground. Medusa. Whoa. Well, that Medusa just turned a whole mountain range into nothing. Oh, that sparkles all that shines. It must be destroyed. They steal the attention. They assault my eye. I'll turn everything to stone, everything. That is my duty, my duty of destruction. Hagan demands that all must be destroyed. Okay. 
When Medusa uses Stony Spell, reflect. Oh, uh, reflect my goodness, face Medusa and reflect spell back. Hit Medusa, hurt Medusa. Uh, press square when you're ready. You deploy, reflect this. Okay, cool. Okay, she's readying her Stony Glare. Fadushk! Aha, the Medusa is petrified. Now's your chance. Kick its head in. Whoa, everyone's leathering it. Moving! Summon some monster minions. Yeah, whatever. Oh, what you sent moles after us. Punch your faces clean off, you, you velvety little pricks. Absolutely no match. Here we go, well. What's this thing up here? Where have you gone? The big wiener. Absolutely came you. Boom. Turns out the Medusa's not very clever because uh, I really, haven't really learnt how to avoid that attack. What? Well, not much, much time to pummel it, not so. Huh? Scorpion, sir. Gory Rock's got one hell of a area of effect. This. Sting this, dickhead. Coming for you. Oh, you absolute bull bag. Smashy, this is just killing its tentacle, not the actual boss HP. <laughs> oh, right. Now what? Oh. A holy moly. Medusa tries to trick you. Only one is real, other is illusion. Look closely. Uh. Boy. That was blinking. Oh, shit. I think it's this one. Please. Yeah! It was. I don't know if it was because it was blinking or if it had a different coloured um, eye glare. But... Knackered it anyway. Reduce the summer some monster minions. Come in, pricks. I'll get you. Easy. Skeletons. Squeezy. I'll break your bones. My golden fists. Yes. Okay, follow this along to here. A good battering. Oh, more monsters joined the fray. Well. Oh. What the? What's happened here? How do I give him... 
Huh? What is going on? weird. I did not expect that to happen. So there's Goldy Rock's got a health bar or what? My base integrity is still 100% which is, is good. Ow. Oh, okay. Um, stone. No, that is the opposite of what I needed. Come on! What the blazes? Get out of the! Jesus Christ! Fudge. I keep moving to avoid the attacks from here. Whoa. Tags from the air, you know. You better try and laser me sometime. Oh god. Now what are you doing? Ah shit, okay. So does only one of them blink? That one's blinking. No, oh, it's this one. It's gotta be this one. the only one that's got a white light. Yeah. Time to die. Yeah. Ooh. And with it, some lovely metal. Ooh. Males get stronger, coming reaches level 19, his maximum HP increase. Ta ding. Collins learnt a new recipe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. An iron shield. Ooh. I do need one of those. I've just got a poxy wooden shield at the moment. What is this? Hearthstone. Victory. We did it, Colin. We defeated the Medusa. What was that thing she dropped when we finished her off? It seems pretty special. Maybe it'll come in handy for breaking Babs' curse. Colin, oh Colin! You defeated the Medusa for us, and soon enough I'll have my darling door back and all. <laughs> yes, Colin, you freed us from the cruel creature's control. Children of Falcon goes away, goes far, far away. Finally, we all breathe sigh of relief. Get rid of that horrible lot as well and all. It's all well and good, but ain't no time to celebrate just yet. Not when Babs is still solid as a rock. We gotta do something. Oh, sweet Babs, dear sweet Babs, come back to us, I pray, so that I may regale you with tales of the heroic deeds that me, I, and my allies performed on the battlefield and all for you. Can't save Babs, but one thing left to do. What do you mean, Goldie Rocks? Yeah, don't answer that. Not to, not to have fixed things up around here anyway. That Medusa caused a right royal mess. I think you'll find there was a hundred percent base integrity. Liar. Wait, they've completely rebuilt the mines. How the how have they done this? I can't believe they've done this. Medusa defeated now all thanks to you. But still no full power told me you need metal to get strength back, copper, silver, gold to tell truth, need one more thing, need hardstone. Medusa steal it from me, but now we steal it back. Use stone to give glow back, then can save Babs. Go to iron workbench, combine hardstone, gold, silver and copper, make gold and glow, give me strength. Give me strength, mm. Jesus Christ. Okay, 
metal. Wait, no. There it is. Brilliant burst of light that marks the beginning of something beautiful. Oh. Uh... Colin, you make gold glow amazing. Can use to get full power back. Fill mine with metal safe pabs. You give me golden glow? Hells yeah. Thank you, now then, ten safe pabs. Just in savor. Oh, then, no more mugging about. Time to bring babs back. And not just that, one glorious god the roxy, or jacked up with proper bows again. Second god rush will begin, our mind will be filled with guilt. Thank you everyone, give me lots of metal, thank lots of help, could not have done without you. Time has come, but one thing you must know, when you use golden glow, need to disappear. Huh? What do you mean like? Disappear, but no die, become part of gold bar, fill mine with metal, lift curse from Babs, it only way. But, but Goldie rocks. Do not feel bad, what to do, for everyone, for Babs have no regrets. He's sacrificing himself. What a strong lad. Oh, is he doing a poo? He's doing a poo. Thank you, Colin. Thank you, everyone. Many good memories. Many happy times. Let's do this, son. Oh. Oh. Spoosh. Couple of lands. The Golden Age returns to Crumbledon. Boom! Flim flam. Go with for gold nation accomplished complete. Yay! Hey, what am I doing here? What happened to the pie? Oh, babes, my days are you aside for sore eyes or what? What's going to you lot? Did something happen I should know about? Wait, where's Goldie Rocks? And they told the story in celebration of Babs's long awaited salvation and the return of the Golden Age, the residents of Crumbledon hold a raucous party that rages through the night. As Dan ladles out the punch, the miners throw a few of their own as they fight for the right to dance with Babs and regale her with tales of their mining exploits. But while she whirls around the stage in the arms of one blushing beefcake after another, Babs can only think of Goldilocks, who sacrificed himself to save her and the land she loves. Then, morning comes. Oh, thanks for coming to the party last night, Colin. I had that right laugh. I know Dad and the miners haven't seen me in ages, but they could have left me alone for two minutes. By the way, the lads told me we've got you and Goldie Rocks to thank for Crumbledon's revival and for freeing me from the Medusa spell. Thanks for everything, Colin. I, I really mean it. You know, I think I get it now why Goldie Rocks did what he did. He sacrificed himself so the person he cared about most could survive. That's what you call love, right? He would have been better off without any, if you ask me, but I suppose it all worked out okay in the end. Tell us how you really feel, why don't you, Teehee? All I know is that thanks to Goldie Rocks, this island's about to enter an all new era of prosperity. I just wish he was here to share it with us. Oh? Um. Do not be sad, Babs. Is that you, Goldie Rocks? Me part of Gold Bar now, always here, always watching, even when you having a poo. Always watch over people of Crumbledon, always watch over Babs. Oh, thanks, Gordy Rocks, I feel heaps better now. You'll always have a special place in the art. <clears throat> oh, I nearly forgot something well important. And if I nearly forgot, that means you two lurkheads, def lunkies, definitely did.
opponent Malroth. Crumbden's all set to win in his second Golden Age. You're a big part of that. But somewhere along the way, I think you forgot what you really came for to find new mates and materials to take back home with you. Ha <laughs> <laughs> you're right. And all the excitement had completely slipped my mind. Yeah, well, I should have said something sooner, but my memory's been a bit rocky lately. Anyway, there's a few of us here who might fancy going back with you. I don't know where everyone else has got to, but maybe you should have a word with them before you head home. Shh, really? Uh, uh, blah, 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 yeah, blah, 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 go back, blah. Oh, Colin, do we really want to? Oh, what's that disgust? Good time to with you, right? Yeah. Come on, you can come. Yeah, don't care. You wanna come? You wanna come, Dougie? Uh, so to see even more as you do, do you, I'll never forget you. Dougie, did I just hear you correctly? You ain't actually saying your goodbyes, are you? Come on, let's go to Silent and wait. Let's see what the fuss is about. You have a laugh, ain't you? Okay, he's, he's staying. Yeah. Alright, then I'm in. I ain't gonna be the one who breaks up the dream team. Alright. We're gonna take Connor? Yeah, go on then. <laughs> Four, okay, alright, fine. Come on, dickheads. Who else do I need to chat to? <laughs> Who else do I need to chat to? Oh, there's fucking there's loads of them. Bloody hell. What about this fucking sack? Skibble bobbly boo, bra blue bobbly blue. Do you want a bobbly blue? Bra flying top you gonna yes, come on. Probably isn't it nice? Probably blah 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 blah. Good. What do you want, Sergey? Oh, salutations, come blah 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 blah. Want to come with? Blah 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 blah. blah. No, 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 no. Oh, no, he doesn't. Okay. An old, uh, old dancing lady. Oh, there you take blah 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 Yeah, coming up. Blah, peep, peep, bleep, blah, blah. Don't care. Blah, bleep. Bloody hell, Dan. You can't go. You've got to stay and look after the pub, isn't it? Uh, but there's still something missing. He wants to come as well, does he? All right, all right, yeah, fuck it. Might as well. Nice. You want to come, Magrog? Yeah, oh, thanks for getting rid of the rotten deuce in there. Came to find metal rounds from your friends. Let's know I'm blacksmith by trade. Oh, yeah, I'll take you with. You seem useful. Said like a true pal, your item would be all the better for having experienced smith like me around. Let's see. I'm to see what this place yours is like. No, okay. okay, right, sweet. Hello again, you two. Is this everyone who's coming? I see you've managed to talk me down into going along with you too. That's a turn up for the books. You've really won everyone over everyone's trust, haven't you? I believe in you too, Colin, but I don't think I can go with you. <clears throat> I thought that was what I wanted, but then I thought about Goldy Rocks now lonely he'd be if his, all his mates took off without him. Babs, what are you saying? Babes! Babs? Is that you, Goldie Rocks? Babs, do not hide true feelings. Babs want to go to you, Colin, yes? That's okay. We understand. Crumbled and safe now. No need to worry. You go. But promise me something. Babs, come back to Crumbledon one day. Tell me stories about Colin's Island. Oh, Goldie Rocks. Thanks, of course I promise. Cross me out and hope to die. Well, Colin, Goldie Rocks has given me his blessing. I don't feel so bad about going with you now. So, when do we set sail? The truth is, I've been dying to see your island ever since you first mentioned it. I hope I can help you turn the Isle of Awakening into a proper little paradise. <laughs> Uh, maybe Colin, you can come back to Crumbledon any time you like, I believe. <laughs> Truth is, we've been really, um, uh, yeah, you know, we've gathered all sorts of materials to use in our We'll hand it over everyone to get that. Oh. Well, I guess that's everyone. It's about time we got packed and headed over to the dock. We can all sail back together on Brownbeard's boat. I can't wait to see Lulu's face when we show all of our new recruits. Let's go, pricks. Oh, it's a little inside burp, then. La 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 See you later, crumbled and stick it up, you crumble bum. Why can't I run? There it is, there's the end of our journey today. 
Let's get the hell off Crumbled and Crumble bum more like. Oi, Colin! You're a sight for seesaw eyes, and I see so you brought a bottle crew of salty sea dogs with ye. These are your new mates, are they? Well, if they're willing to swab what needs swabbing, they're welcome aboard. Shall we hoist the main brace and set sail for the Isle of Awakening? Nicolin! Le wait, please wait. Ah, oh, fuck. Le farewell, Colleen, after we've done Crompton, we'll feel we ever be in your debt. Now that the villains are all gone, I've been sent back in the island of Valley Lock for to be in Mother Futini Fortunate. But that you would stoop to take the beautiful Miss Babs away from us is to my chagrin. She is the real treasure of Crumbledon. Yeah, well, uh, are we going blah? I reckon it's time, Colin. Let's set sail for the Isle of Awakening. I can't half say how happy I am that Crumbledon's metal's gonna be put where by the bar road about. Take care of my friends, this is this one. You are all aboard for tomorrow. Time to set sail. There we go, get on board. See you later, pricks. Bye. Off we go. And so the adventure on Crumbledon draws to its conclusion. Colin, Maroth and their newfound friends set sail for the Isle of Awakening where Lulu and the others await their safe return. Sailing. There we go. That's it, my friends. That is it. We are done with Crumbledon. Finally. Oh my god, that was an extra long episode. Um, thank you very much, everybody, for watching. Um, uh, I think... Potentially, uh, I'm going to give Colin a bit of a break for a while, like I said at the start of the stream. We'll see, though. If, I'm, if I run out of stuff to stream, we'll definitely come back to some Colin adventures. Um, but uh, for now, it's time for Colin to go to bed and me to go off and do some chores again so and find out who was ringing me on my phone while that stream was going on so thank you very much everybody for watching thanks much for looking after everyone uh have a great night and i'll see you tomorrow i don't know what i'm going to stream yet perhaps potentially a call of duty beta or something maybe i don't know we'll see follow me on twitter find out it's up there bye <laughs>